What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Well, it's time for another Follow Friday and today I thought we'd talk about the Joe Rogan experience. Alright, well let's jump into it. If you're not familiar with Joe yet, he's worn several hats. He's an actor, he is a UFC fighter, he is uh, a commentator, he <laughs> Uh, is a comedian and he also has a podcast which is what we're talking about today the Joe Rogan experience I think the first time that I ran across Joe was when I checked out Fear Factor once or twice and that's one of the shows that he hosted on TV Joe was also on a show called News Radio which was a sitcom he was also on a show later on called Joe Rogan Questions Everything, which was basically him sort of going through testing different things that were sort of, I guess you would say, conspiracy theories. And he said that it really made him a little more, uh, I guess, skeptical of the skeptics. <laughs> uh, he really kind of thought that some of the stuff that he wanted to believe in, some of those quote unquote conspiracy theories, uh, he said were things that he eventually just sort of came to the conclusion that the 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 evidence that they were presenting didn't really hold up he didn't really believe in those particular conspiracy theories or whatever but i don't know i thought it was a pretty interesting show i've seen a couple episodes of that so Joe's current show, The Joe Rogan Experience, is a podcast where he just sits down with people. Now I think Joe is a pretty smart guy. He likes to sort of call himself a dummy or whatever, but you know, he I think he's a pretty smart guy and uh, it's really cool that he has these really interesting people on, people that are extremely intelligent, uh, people that are funny, he's had uh, some of the political candidates on. And I just really find those conversations interesting because you don't just get a little sound bite. If you watch, um, say, The Tonight Show or one of those other talk shows, you get a bunch of commercials, you get a monologue, you get, um, you get a, an interview that's maybe a few minutes long, and unfortunately you just don't get a very in-depth conversation like you do when you're just sitting he, they're just sitting there for two or three hours and just talking and having an in-depth conversation that leads me into the first guest that i want to talk about and that is that joe had bernie sanders on and up until then all i all i'd really ever seen was a few articles and a few interviews that are really short and you get those uh, those things on the news shows or whatever and that they're five minutes long ten if you're lucky and they the candidate doesn't really get to express what they actually think their actual their their plan in detail and <clears throat> I really was not expecting Bernie to be as intelligent and to have his plans and his arguments as well thought out as they were. I I also saw other interviews that he has, he's had with some of the other uh, people that were running for president, like Andrew Yang. One thing that I really liked about Andrew Yang is that he had a pretty detailed plan about automation and how we should deal with people losing their jobs to all the automation that's happening and honestly I don't think anyone else is in the I don't think any of the other candidates are really thinking about it much and it may not happen all at once it may not happen tomorrow but honestly it's gonna happen and we we may as well be thinking about what we can do to make sure that we can get through that when people start losing more and more of their jobs because we learn to make technology that can do those jobs. We need to be make sure that people either have other jobs or some way of uh, making sure that we as a society can move on. And I really kind of like that. An episode that I will probably go back and watch is an episode where Joe had two doctors and he had Mel Gibson on. Now, Mel Gibson 
and his father uh, had gone to these two doctors and they do stem cell therapy. Um, my understanding is that they take stem cells from an umbilical cord and inject them into joints and things like that. And and the, the results they were getting was amazing. And it's the stories that Mel ta tells about his dad who it sounds like the guy could barely walk and all of a sudden it's like he's in his 50s again and he's out walking around. Don't quote me on that, I can't remember exactly what Mel said, but it was something like that. It was it was amazing results. And I think that's a definitely an episode worth checking out. Joe also had Lex Friedman on. And that was a really interesting conversation too. He's a professor and he's really knowledgeable about artificial intelligence. And he does a podcast on artificial intelligence. And so you get to see this guy who is, I mean, he's just really up on neural networks and artificial intelligence and all that latest stuff on that side of the technology front. And I just really thought it was interesting. Bill's also had people like Ben Shapiro and Bill Maher on his show. Joe has also had Kevin Smith on the show, and if you're not familiar with Kevin Smith, uh, maybe you're familiar with the movies that he's behind, such as Jay and Bob, Silent Bob Strike Back and Dogma. Joe had Roseanne Barr on his show to uh, talk to her after she lost her renewed sitcom. Joe's also had some musical acts on his show, such as Rob Zombie, Ted Nugent, Black Keys, and a whole bunch of others. Joe has also had Neil deGrasse Tyson on his show, who is an astrophysicist and has a podcast of his own. He's written books and uh, just a really interesting guy as well. Several times, Joe has had a guy named Mike Baker on his show, who is a CIA agent. Joe has also had a guy named Bob Lazar on, who is a guy who claims to have worked on a secret government project involving UFOs. Joe has also had an archaeologist on named Graham Hancock, who basically uh, kind of goes against the grain of what other archaeologists say uh, or other historians say about the ancient pyramids in Egypt. Uh, he says that there's evidence that shows that those pyramids are actually older than what uh, the mainstream says it is. Another doctor that Joe has had on is named Rhonda Patrick, and she seems to be just really at the forefront of a whole lot of really cool stuff. And he sits down and has some in-depth conversations with her. She's been on several times, and I might even go back and listen to some more of those, and I'll definitely be watching when he has her on again. And finally, I just noticed earlier today that Joe actually had Elon Musk on again, and I'm really excited to see that. So if you haven't seen this already, Joe had Elon Musk on uh, a few months ago and there was a big hoopla over the fact that Joe offered him some marijuana. <sighs> Elon took a little puff and everybody went nuts. Oh, this is a CEO, he's running a company and blah, blah, blah. And I just kind of thought, who cares? He took one little puff and it's legal where he did it and he he did it in in California he lives in California and honestly I I don't think it's such a big deal if you ask me Elon can still run Tesla and SpaceX and the boring company and all the other amazing stuff he does <laughs> even after taking one little puff so I hope that was worthwhile and interesting let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Joe is also on a, on a talk about spin things, and I was honestly, um, I was, I was honestly a little bit. Really, uh, really knowledgeable about interfel inter. <laughs> uh, Joe's even had some artists, but then most archaeologic. <laughs> All right, and finally, 
I just know. Uh oh. <laughs> so I hope that was worthwhile and interest. <laughs> so I hope that was worthwhile and interesting. <laughs> so I hope that was worthwhile and. <laughs> yeah, I can't talk. 